हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इन ट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम नाउ लेट डिस्कस वट इज सेफ गार होल्ड तो सेफ गार्ड होल्ड्स प्रोवेंट्स अ डिवाइस विद ए नोन इश्यू फॉर बीइंग ऑफर्ड अ न्यू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वर्जन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट रिन्यू द दिस ऑफरिंग वंस अ फिक्स इज फाउंड एंड वेरीफाइड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट यूज होल्ड टू एंश्योर कस्टमर हैव ए सक्सेसफुल एक्सपीरियंस एज दे डिवाइस मूव टू अ न्यू वर्जन ऑफ विंडोज क्लाइंट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट यूजेस क्वालिटी एंड कंपेटेबिलिटी डेटा टू आइडेंटिफाई इशू that might cause a windows client feature upgrade failed or roll back when microsoft finds such an issue microsoft might apply safeguard hold to the updating service to prevent affecting device from installing the update in order to safeguard them for these experience the life span of safeguard hold varies depending on the time required to investigate or fix an issue during the time microsoft works delightly to procure develop and validate a fix and then offer it to affected devices microsoft monitor quality and compatibility data to confirm that a fix is completed before releasing the safeguard hold once the microsoft releases the safeguard hold windows update will resume offering new operating system version to the devices safeguard holds only affects device that use the windows update service for updates such as windows update for business deployment service admin can use update compliance to monitor various update health metrics for device in their organization update compliance provides a safeguard hold report as well as queries in the feature update status reports to provide you insight into the safeguard holds that are preventing device from updating or upgrading admin can opt out the safeguard hold protection by using the disable safeguard policy in mdm tool we can use update disable wsus safeguard csp and in group policy we can use disable safeguard for feature upgrade group policy now let's see how we can disable the safeguard hold so there are multiple ways to disable a safeguard hold first i am going to show you how you can manually disable a safeguard hold on your device and to do this we have to go to the search and then we have to type run and under run we have to type gpedit.msc and open gp editor and under gp editor we have to go to the administrative templates and within administrative templates we have to go to windows components and within win windows component we have to go to the windows update and within windows update we have to select manage updates offered from windows update and then here we have a third option called disable safeguard for feature update we have to click on it and then we have to click on edit policy settings by default the setting is not configured so if you click on enable this setting meaning that enable this setting when feature update should be deployed to devices without blocking any safeguard hold and if you select the disabled option then the machine is not able to receive any feature update if there is any compatibility issue found by the microsoft for that machine so i want to enable this option and hit apply and okay and then same setting you can apply via group policy to configure enable or disable the safeguard hold feature now let's see how we can opt out the safeguard hold from intune so to do this we have to go to the devices and under devices we have to create a configuration profile and then we have to click on create profile and then we have to select the platform windows 10 and later and profile type should be template and within template i am going to use a custom oma uri policy so i am going to click on custom and then create here we have to provide the name of the policy and then click on next 
and then we have to add the OMA URI under name we have to provide the name of the policy and under OMA URI we have to provide the OMA URI path and then data type should be integer and the value should be 1 click on save and click on next and then create assignment as per your requirement for now I am going to add all devices click on next so I'm not going to use any applicability route so I'm going to click on next and then just review the policy and then click on create and then we can see that opting out of safeguard policy policies created and apply to all the devices now let's see how we can validate whether the opt-out policy is applied on the machine or not so there are two ways the first way is to generate a mdm diagnostic report and see the status and the second way is the registry now first i'm going to show you how you can check using mdm diagnostic report and to check that we have to go to the access worker school under access worker school we have to go to the advanced diagnostic reports and then we have to click on create report it's going to generate a report and saved it under users public documents and then mdf diagnostic then we have to export it and then we have to go to the location where the report is saved and then we have to open this report so under mdf diagnostic information to find the status of the safeguard hold we have to press ctrl f and then in under this we have to type safeguard and then hit enter here we can see that this policy is applied and by default policy is zero and the current policy is one and this policy is applied on the device and this is the management authority who applied this policy on that device this is the first way of checking the uh, safeguard hold policy applied on the device or not now let's see how we can check using the registry method so to do this we have to open the registry under search we have to type or drag edit and then hit enter under registry we have to go to the hklm software microsoft policy manager and the current and within current we have to click on device and within the device we have to open the update and within update we have to find the disable safeguard hold registry and uh, this one yeah this one is the disable wufp safeguard hold and the value is set i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video